To modify the properties of an individual tree, or really any nature object, the first thing that you need to do is to move over here to the left hand side and then select on objects. Then make sure that nature has been selected. Once nature has been selected, come over here and then select on one of the commands that allows you to make a modification to that object, such as move object. At that point, any object which would be a nature object, because that's the category that's been highlighted, will now have the circle shape down at the bottom of it. By clicking on the circle shape, you can then use the command that's been activated down here on the bar. In this case, it's called the move command, which allows us to move that tree from one location to another location. Click on the circle, hold your mouse button down, and drag the tree. There's also the option to size the object. You can make it smaller or bigger. I'm going to come over here to where we have size, and right now we can see that it's at full size. But if I move the bar to the left, we can make the tree tiny. If I move the bar to the right, we can make the tree massive. Usually, though, I try not to adjust the overall percentage scale of an object like a tree too much. I may grow it up to a 1.2 or shrink it down to a 1.7 so that it gives the different appearance of different sizes of growth. But usually I try to leave them right around the same size because that's the actual size the tree would be once it was full grown. There's an option here for change height, and it's not really changing the height of the tree. It's changing the height that the tree is located off of the ground or off of the surface that it's hosted to. Usually I'll leave the tree hosted to that ground object. If this was a plant and it was sitting in a planter, I may decide to raise it up so that it was high enough that it was up there at the top of the planter and look the right height coming out of the ground. But for this project, I'll drop it back down again so that it's sitting basically on the ground. There's also an option to rotate. Rotate works really well if you have three or four trees that all look like they're pointed the same direction and kind of have the same look to them. What you can do is that you can select on one or two of the trees, come in, and then rotate the trees around so that you're now looking at the trees from a different direction. And by looking at the trees from a different direction, it gives the appearance that you've actually placed a different kind of tree into the scene.